Yeah, Michael, oh, yeah, a little bit. The NBA. Forget super teams. We got super duper teams. Is the system flawed? Do all these players even fit? A lot of questions for NBA Twitter tonight, but here's the deal. If anyone thought the Warriors were going to sit back and chill this offseason, the champs rode up tonight like Kumo D. Mm. How you like me now? Yes, DeMarcus Cousins agreeing to a one-year $5.3 million deal with the Warriors, according to Adrian Wojnarowski. A source told Stephen A. Smith that all the players and Steve Kerr signed off on the addition of Boogie with the feeling that it's a low-risk move. The 27-year-old four-time All-Star still recovering from a torn Achilles is not expected to be back on the court until around Christmas or even New after New Year's Eve. But he told Mark Spears he wants to be back by training camp. Now, the Warriors, as you might imagine, already the overwhelming favorites to win the title when free agency began. Even money, according to Westgate, Las Vegas Superbook. Now, their odds did move to minus 110 after LeBron agreed to join the Lakers. So what happened when... When Boogie joined the Warriors, well, those odds are now minus 150, which means you have to risk $150 to win $100. We're joined now by Michael Wilbon. And, Mike, we've been talking over the last couple of days about all these moves and what it means for the league. When you heard that Boogie Cousins was joining a team that already had four guys that were all-stars last year, now making it five in the starting lineup, what was your reaction? Laughter. Mike, I, I, I just, you know, you just think, okay, Golden State literally must have been chuckling to themselves. I mean, you wonder, we're going to find out, of course, more soon about the details and how long this was in the works. When did they say to themselves, when did Bob Meyer and Steve Kerr and the staff say, you know what, we can upgrade here and talk about an upgrade. What's the one dimension, the one element that the Warriors have not really had during this entire run? A dynamic big man, a big man who, you know, brings more than just a specific element. You know, they would plug and play. We're going to bring in a guy who's a better passer now, bring in a better defender, bring in somebody who can, you know, play some pick and roll. No, 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 no. With Boogie Cousins, we don't know, we don't know what his recovery situation from his Achilles is going to be. People have come back frequently now, increasingly from ACL tears and torn up knees and all dimensions. But the ACL has given a lot of people problems that they don't recover from still. If Boogie Cousins can come back and be mostly himself, he brings something in that position that the Warriors have not had and they must be chuckling to themselves now. Yeah, Cousins was averaging 25 points, 13 rebounds, and five assists before he tore that Achilles tendon back on January 26. You know, so much of the reaction, Mike, that I've seen so far, at least in social media, so they take that with a grain of salt, has been overreaction, especially from fans that aren't from the Bay Area saying that you do this, you're just ruining the NBA, the season's not worth watching anymore because they're going to win another title. What say you to the overreaction that we seem to be getting from saying that this is actually ruining the NBA. Michael, I'm a lot older than you. I don't pay that much attention to Twitter and Instagram or any of it. Uh, you, you characterize it properly when you sort of hedged. I, you know, that's, that's not going to set the barometer for me in terms of the kinds of attention I pay to the NBA. Were the Golden State Warriors supposed to just sit by and let everybody else make improvements to their teams and do nothing? No, that's not the way any enterprise that's competitive works. So, you know, I, that's, that's a reaction I won't be dealing with in any sort of depth because I'm not paying any attention. If you're the Golden State Warriors and you see that the teams are coming after you, that free agency now, people move, and they move in interesting ways. I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're joining or putting together a super team, but people understand what it is. Look at what Houston did last year. And now you have the Lakers in the mix, and Houston still, despite the loss of Trevor Ariza, they're still coming. Um, and so the Lakers, it may take another year. But the Warriors are supposed to do what? Say, oh, we don't want to get too far ahead of the field. We don't want to lap anybody. So we're just going to worry about social media and stand pat. No, they sought to improve their team. And you can't take, you know, I hear other things, Michael, about people talking about how, oh, the Warriors are going to be set for years and years and years. Nothing. Nothing in the culture today has that kind of shelf life. So the Warriors are trying to win one more, this one. You mentioned the Rockets. GM Darryl Morey has said publicly that he's obsessed with trying to beat the Warriors' Magic Johnson in the wake of uh, getting this LeBron James news. We've heard that they're trying to win now in L.A. What impact do you think this signing or future signing of DeMarcus Cousins to the Warriors will have on the rest of the summer as it relates to these rosters that are getting reshuffled? 
Well, look, we, we, we knew that we talked about this last night, of course, with the Lakers. They're not done yet, and they're still tweaking. Of course, they come back the next day in less than 24 hours, you know, with, with Rajon Rondo. So it's true. They weren't finished. And Daryl Morey, we know, in the best of times, if they had won, chances are he'd be tinkering. And, you know, they came a Chris Paul hamstring away, perhaps, from winning the whole thing certainly the Western Conference. And so I don't, I don't know that this ups the ante for them. I still think they looked at the Warriors as something that was out there that they had to, to reach out and grab. The Lakers knew that starting almost from scratch. Um, and Daryl Morey in Houston, you know, they, they lost Trevor Ariza. So they're, they're down a little bit here. What, what do they plan to do to fill that void, just to catch up, and then sort of improve so they can get back to this pursuit of the Golden State Warriors. You know, one of the best things about these offseason moves, Mike, is setting us up for the game, the matches we're going to have coming up later, whether it's opening night, Christmas Day, Lakers Warriors, Rockets Warriors, whoever it's going to be, it should be fun. Michael Wilbon, thanks for the time here on SportsCenter. Thanks, Mike.